traitor. After seeing all the footage that took place at EVO with Hunter Hunter Net Impact, I definitely can't wait to get this game in my hands because I just want to try this game out already. I know it's been a while since I made like a full video since I've been making shorts about the game, but with the amount of content that was shown along with the reveal of the whole roster, listen, it's time to lock in. Let's start with the last two characters that got revealed. First off, we got Phaeton who pretty much got revealed during um, Japan Expo. Again, I called it the moment he made an appearance in Crow trailer and i can't lie aiding went through memory lane because Phaeton definitely got some moves that look similar to virgil in marvel vs. capcom 3 and i'm not mad about it i don't play marvel like that but whenever i watch tournaments for the game i enjoy seeing the crazy amount of gameplay of him being played especially in a high level play the only thing i want to know about Phaeton is if pain packer is going to be only used as a level 3 super or will Phaeton be able to use it as an install similar to kilua activated god speed Either way, he's looking pretty dope in my opinion, but can we please take the time to appreciate the gameplay with Biscuit? Like, why is she throwing hands like this? Like, bro, she's even more crazier when she transforms into her real form. Like, the damage is fucking ridiculous. Now, let's dive into Evo, because honestly, our system works was going through crazy reveals for Net Impact. Even though he was somewhat leaked during Japan Expo, the last character to get revealed during EVO, honestly, was none other than the Chimera Ant King himself, Mirren, as he storms the field. Like, I'm not even going front. I'm doing all this in one take. This video is literally in one take, but I really got to talk about the details of this trailer because it's literally Netero and Mirum literally fighting in the same stage from the art. Mirum is really out here utilizing this tail with crazy range. Not to mention this guy got death from above. Oh my God, out here looking like Uber Gene 2. Jesus, like, it, it's really crazy. Like, they just dropped Mirum like it was nothing. And not to mention this man got a, what, a proton cannon out here looking like Iron Man? Like, damn, bro. And not only that, I think from the exhibition match, he has like a little OTG ground pound where he's constantly beating the heck out of his enemy. Honestly, like when it comes to some of the trailers for Net Impact, it don't do justice because there's so much more that they didn't show within the trailer. That's why I'm glad they actually had this little exhibition at EVO promoting the game because some of the stuff that, you know, you have people like Lord Knight, Nitro, like literally showcasing what these characters could do because the number one thing about Net Impact, in my opinion, I feel like people don't care about it because of the fact of how it looks graphic wise. I fully understand people are into visuals, but Looking at a game visually, especially a fighting game, is not going to help you get good at it. I'm just being honest. If the game plays well and feel nice, yo, why on earth does the visuals have to be the first thing to come to mind? I get it. It's an anime fighting game. It's an anime game to begin with. You guys wanted to look like Dragon Ball Fighters, and that's why I'm just like, damn, Arxis has really spoiled a lot of anime fans because they want their games looking like freaking Dragon Ball Fighters, freaking Guilty Gear Stride, freaking Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising. I get it. I fully understand. But at the end of the day, what's the point of high quality visuals? If y'all don't actually play the game, prime example, look at DNF Duel. Y'all don't even play that. And you want to know why? Because the gameplay itself did not suit your interest. But you got a game like over here with Net Impact developed by Aiden yet again. And it's honestly just Hunter Hunter with Marvel vs. Capcom 3 mechanics. I'm going to be real with you. That's literally what this game is. And this game looks mad fun to watch, especially at a high level play. Again, I'm really glad Evo had an exhibition for this game because, dog, I really want to play this game. I really wish I had the chance to go to Evo. I really wish I didn't fumble on all the things I did this year so I could actually attempt to go out and explore and just socialize. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad I'm here to talk about it for once. Especially one take? What? Now, let's talk about the opening. They literally dropped the opening at the showcase in Mirror. And I'm like, what? This is crazy. Okay, so the opening basically showcased the whole cast for this game. You literally got Biscuit, Krolo, Phaeton, Genthro, Gon, Hisoka, Kilua, Karaka, Leorio, Machi, Mirum, Netero, and freaking Ubergine. And the last three characters they freaking dropped was none other than Kite. I wanted Kite. I'm glad Kite is in the game. I am so fucking happy because if Kite is not in this game, listen, if they put UP over Kite in this game, I was going to be tilted. I ain't going to front. Then you got freaking Razor from the Green Island arc, I ain't going to front. Razor's pretty nice though. Genthro, I'm still waiting for his trailer. That's crazy. I 
I know what people are saying. Yo, why are you crazy about Genthro? Because, dog, he was cool. No, nah, but I, I really want to see uh, Genthro's kit ever since he got leaked from Justin Wong video for Hunter Hunter Net Impact. Because I'm trying to see, like, damn, does this man have, like, command grabs where he command grabs you and he set a bomb on it and then you can detonate it whenever you want to or whatnot? And then also, the last character was none other than uh, Morel. Now, me personally, I'm kind of shocked that Morel is even in the game because I personally thought they were going to add Knuckles. But hey, it is what it is. I'd rather have Morel than freaking Yuppie. I'm just saying, Yuppie was kind of busted. They kept giving that man a whole bunch of power-ups. Yuppie was just annoying. I ain't gonna front. It was annoying. This man was evolving each and every fight. This man Kilua with God speed and was beating him up. Yo, I got another power-up. Like, what? This shit was crazy. But, no, real talk, I'm really shocked that they put Morel over Knuckles. Like, Knuckles would have been a nice person to play in this game, but to each his own and who knows maybe they'll put dlc for this game again we don't know because this game has still not been given a release date i feel like they're going to be doing more listen honestly let's be real i feel like right now what the game is going through right now in terms of like what they're doing with development is the fact that they want to focus on the characters the models making sure all the hit detections are going pretty well with the game so they ain't got to worry about nothing there's going to be some jank shit in there especially with Kilua using god speed i feel like they're focusing more on the characters and then they'll polish what they have because again this game doesn't have a release date so there's still plenty of time to work on that impact maybe just maybe they'll be able to work with the character models make the game look a little bit better but that is a wish that i'm pretty sure everybody is wishing for me personally i just want the game so i can play it because one it's hunter hunter two kind of been down for a new anime fighting game since you know i have been on a little hiatus or whatnot and three Bro, it's just Hunter Hunter. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. Again, I'm doing one take, dog. I'm tired of writing my scripts. I'm going to start doing one take videos. I miss doing this. But with all that being said, tell me in the comment section how you guys feel about Hunter Hunter and the impact. The Evo actually help you guys out in terms of seeing how the game plays thanks to the players that's over there trying it out during the exhibition. And also, how do you guys feel about the roster? With all that being said, I feel like I said that already. I hate this shit. See, one take. That's why I like my one takes. I get to roast myself because I keep saying the same thing. But with, no, stop, stop, stop. Tell me in the comments section just how you guys feel about the game overall. This has been your boy, Eternal Oblivion, and I am signing out. Peace. Push me to the